Manny's getting his jersey honored tonight. One of the all-time greats. Played here in 1958 through 60, as you guys remember from the fall. Uh, after playing here, played for the Globetrotters. Was corporate executive at General Motors, Honeywell. Then owned the Harlem Globetrotters and basically took them out of bankruptcy. Um, has an award at the Naismith Hall of Fame named after him for his humanitarian efforts. Um, and is a proud Illini guy. Proud Illini guy. And I just asked him to come out and share, I talk to you guys all the time, how quickly the season goes and this opportunity to play here, to put on the orange and blue, how fast it passes and what it means to these guys because these are two of the all-time greats. Only you know if you're given everything you've got and leaving nothing in the field. Now what I've discovered is that the teams that win, I mean really win, they've figured out what that level of giving is from the heart that others haven't figured out. When I played at Illinois, I quit. I'm ashamed to say. If I got 20 points or 25 points, I'm ashamed to say that was my night. I'd give anything to turn back the clock and step in here like tonight and give more of what I had to give that I didn't give back when I was a kid, 18, 19, 20 years old. Let's go, great energy today. Good, put a name on it. Good, let's be sharp. Exciting time of year, fellas. Everything matters, you know, but every little thing counts. It just all leads up to one big moment and you gotta take advantage of it. After a back and forth first half, Minnesota shot 58% in the second half to pull away and hand the Illini their first home loss of the season. It's what it is, this league's a monster. And you can't do it, it's a grind. We already told them that before when we were 0-0, zero zero, right when we let, let in the league play. You know, it is what it is. Next one's coming at you at 115 on Saturday. Following the loss to the Gophers, the Illini headed to Madison. Illinois didn't have much luck at the Kohl Center and fell to the Badgers. Boy, they just win and win and win here at Kohl Center. The Illini struggles continued at home against Northwestern. I'm not giving up on them. Uh, I, I still think it's going to be a difficult road to hold to get the double A's this year, but, but I'm certainly not going to give up on them. I would hope that people wearing the orange and blue come to the Assembly Hall will, will realize what they have in a tradition and a program and give, give Gross some time. Coming off a three-game losing streak, the seniors called a players-only meeting before their trip to Nebraska. You know, John Gross talked a lot this week. He said it hasn't been an effort issue. It's just a matter of execution and guys doing what they're supposed to do. And if one guy doesn't do what he's supposed to do on the defensive end, it kind of breaks everything else down. So if they're playing better and they're getting back to the things they're supposed to be doing, you're going to see them with a, with a better effort on the defensive end. Elon I win the tap, then we're underway. Backs his way in, stuff it home! Oh, Right wing DJ open for three, and he got it. Out top DJ will, and he got another one. They really take it away, and it is. Nice hands from Bertrand. Can he reward on the other end with the offense? He can, and he'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Will drive with Paul. Over Tally, and what a shot. Richardson, lob ahead, DJ layup, good! Now Avery pops open, jumps it from 15, buried it. Found over Bertrand, got away, and that shot blocked by Igwu. It's a pick from McLaurin, shoots a three, top of the key, and buried it. Goop shot, good! Counted, and he's fouled. Driving in Griffey. Kicks it out to Richardson for a three. Got it. Here is Abrams out top of DJ. Pulls up for three. Got another one. Abrams around a pick, back to DJ for three, there he goes, Jerry. DJ Richardson led the Illini with 30 points, shooting six for nine from three. And the Illini got the road win they needed. Three to four, 
you guys answered the bell, I thought, very well. Yeah, I thought we came out really aggressive. Uh, that was a point of emphasis, obviously, in the last few days. Thanks for the time, and a good, happy flight home. We'll get ready for Michigan next. So. Appreciate it, Brian. Thanks. All right. Head coach John Gross. Following the win at Nebraska, Illinois entered their toughest stretch of the season, five straight games against the top half of the best conference in college basketball. First up, the second-ranked Michigan Wolverines. Here is Tracy Abrams for Illinois, right wing to D.J. Richardson. Michigan looking as Illinois with a backdoor alley-oop from Paul to Igwu, who slams it in. Here is Abrams, splits two Wolverines, passes left wing, Paul, open three, is good. Here's Hardaway, son of the NBA great, all-star. Hardaway puts it on the floor, lost it. DJ dives on the floor, ties up the Wolverines. Possession arrow to Michigan, but DJ on the floor again. Out of there with it is Tracy. Tracy shovels to Brandon, shoots a three, and got it. Oh, from 22 feet out, left side, he buried it. Richardson on the right wing, up for a tough three, and he missed it, Griffey! Oh, what a wow. throw! Griffey on the flush! Big Griff! The Illini hung around for the entire game, but couldn't get over the hump. Michigan left Champaign with the victory and was ranked number one in both polls the next day. I think we're getting better. You know, I do think we're getting better. I thought we practiced really well. Three and th three really, really, really good practices. Um, I thought our mind and heart was in the right place today. You know, I thought we did a pretty good job on Burke. I thought we rebounded it pretty well. Um, you know, we were switching some things. Uh, guys competed in that regard. I thought the live ball turnovers, as I mentioned, Marcus Laban, we tried to make a little bit of a run, hurt us. And then, <clears throat> you know, Herb kind of said it. I mean, <laughs> you got to throw a couple in. Illinois then traveled to Michigan State. The Illini came out on fire and went into the locker room with a 10-point lead. Richards, an open right wing three. It's good! The Spartans responded with a 14-0 run to start the second half, and the Illini fell just short of the upset. Down to one, and the game is over. Spartans rallied from 10 down at half, and they win it by five. Despite Joseph Bertrand's impressive offensive performance, the Illini fell to Wisconsin for the second time this season, leaving many doubting the Illini's chances against their next opponent, top-ranked Indiana. Give me what Illinois, what would Illinois have to do to win this game tonight? Uh, Illinois has never been an easy place for Indiana to play. The IU's lost nine of the last ten there. They're going to have to get over all of that and not let uh, the emotions that I'm sure Illinois will be feeling uh, get the best of them. I think this is one of those throw-out-the-record games. I really do. I, I think that these are uh, – this, this potentially has – you know, it could be a really good game tonight. It is a Big Ten battle tonight between the Fighting Illini, the University of Illinois, against the number one team in the country, the Indiana Hoosiers. The Hoosiers – 20 and 2 on the year. They're on top of the Big Ten standings at 8 and 1. They're just ahead of Michigan and Michigan State. Those two teams will be pulling for Illinois tonight to try to knock off the number one team in the country. Igwu and Seller at center on the big block. High and mid court. The snap is won by Indiana. And Christian Watford knocks it down and it's 3 0 in Indiana. Inbound. Ball, open three, good from the left corner. Top of the key, pass in the corner, TJ, three, got it. 9-7 Indiana, quickly to the front court, bad pass. Stolen away by Brandon Paul, what a slam. Oh. Layup, he missed it. Richardson with a rebound. Fast break, Bertrand with a layup. Oh. 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 A little stutter step and a crossover. Three, missed it, Griffey, follow good. Looking inside the zone to Griffey, passed up the shot, bounce out to Brandon for three, good! Foot gets it to DJ, left corner three in the air, good! DJ to the left corner, fires it in, got it! Why not? Two! Why not, DJ? We're tied! 72-70 Indiana, first one is good! Second one for Brandon Paul. Everybody standing, it is up, it is good! Drives, lost the handle, stolen by Richardson, with three, Richardson drives, layup, blocked by Oladipo. Zero 
point nine. Tie game at 72. Illinois to inbound in the corner. Brandon Paul looking to inbound. Gets it to Griffey. Lay it oh! I said to myself, we're down. I said, I'm so proud of my guys, the way they fought. You fought, man. You fought. Obviously, you wanted to win the game. That was the game plan. That's what we were intent to do. Intending on doing. You guys got it done. Found a way to get it done. Okay, you found a way to get it done. I'm proud of you because of the way that you fought. I'm proud of you because you played with passion. I'm proud of you because you played the game the right way. I'm proud of you because you played as a unified group. You played together, okay? That's got to be the standard here all the time, okay? That's what we've been looking for. That's what we've been looking for. You guys today played your butts off. That's what I envisioned when I came here of how the heck Illinois plays. Play it the right way. Tyler Griffey, you got it. One, two, three. I'm going to hold it up. One, two, three. Hey, 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 hey. Obviously, uh, you know, great, great win for our program. I'm most happy for our players. Most happy for our seniors. I thought our seniors really stepped up and made uh, big plays today. I thought we played with a lot of trust today. I thought we were really tough uh, and together. You know, I turned to Dustin. Next time on TNT. Richardson for three. He hits it. And at halftime, Illinois takes the lead. Thank you, John. Thank you. Griffey with the rebound, keeps it alive, takes it back to the back. Oh, and oh, hammers it up. Guys, trust me, the guard is going to tap him. I'm telling you. The Illini roaring out to a huge lead. The Orange Crush and the rest of the Orange Clad fans in the building on their feet as well. Oh, God.